in the Lifetime Achievement Award. And the winner is... From mopeds to motorcycles, from process to perfection. Venus Srinivasan is the king of total quality management. As a person, you have to reinvent yourself to meet the new horizon. So every 12 years almost, I've had to reinvent myself. Under Venus Srinivasan, TVS Motors has evolved from India's second largest moped manufacturer to one of the biggest global players in two wheelers. Now that was just 13% of the industry exports came from TVS Motor way back in FY15. That has gone up all the way to 25.1%. We always had a great passion for developing our own technology capacity. Srinivasan's unwavering focus and quality has also resulted in TVS Motors manufacturing the legendary BMW motorcycles. His steadfast belief in the ability and quality of India's engineers. I think my strength is maintaining trust with people and maintaining warmth with people. Has also made TVS the first Indian two-wheeler company to make a motorcycle that runs only on ethanol. For catapulting Indian auto manufacturing onto the global stage. CNBC TV 18 India Business Leader Awards proudly presents the Lifetime Achievement Award to Venu Srinivasan. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in giving a warm round of applause to our Lifetime Achievement Award winner, Mr. Venu Srinivasan. you saying that <laughs> we just th thank you so much mr puri for, for doing that we just heard you saying in that audio visual that you reinvent yourself every 12 years i don't know whether you're in the middle of a 12 year cycle at this point in time or you're out of one or you're about to start one uh, what what should we expect in terms of reinvention from benu Srinivasa? well i think uh, i was thrown into the deep end because uh, tragically my father died when I was 26 and I was just a project manager in the Moped project. 12 years where we had to build a quality organization which uh, believed in total quality, which means quality of everything that you do. Then the third phase came when we uh, broke up with Suzuki. We decided to part ways. Uh, each of us had global ambitions and the best thing we thought we should uh, separate. And the final phase was really making it a global company. I think from 2010 to 2022, we've come a long way where almost 35% of our revenue comes from overseas business. And the next stage would be, as I said earlier, when Parikshit asked me was we have to go to Latin America, where we have very small footprint, a very small footprint in Southeast Asia. And ultimately, I think, with Norton motorcycles and electric bicycles, go to North America and Europe as well. So that will be the next big thing, but not for me to do, but I've handed over the baton, so the next generation will have to do that. So, so what is the target that you've set for Sudarshan? 35% in terms of export contribution today. Where would you like to see that over the next five years, especially in the context of, uh, uh, of this big Make in India moment? I think we should never set financial targets for ourselves. I think we should set targets to be the most customer-friendly company, a company where people really, customers believe in you, believe in your products and services. And it's by winning their minds and hearts that ultimately we'll build a large business. I think for, to focus on building a company that the world's advanced countries like Europe and North America will look for TVS and buy it, that would really what I would like TVS to be. Mr. Srinivasan, you know, uh, we, would, we would like to see many more Indian brands take global share, and I think that is going to be the next path as far as our Make in India journey is concerned. Absolutely. 
I think uh, the greatest inspiration is our uh, Honorable Prime Minister putting Atma Nirbhar right up front and make Indians believe in themselves. You see the young people have done unbelievable work today uh, from drones to space to rupee to... And I think that is the new India. And therefore, uh, really, we believe that India can stride on the global stage with confidence, pride and dignity. Absolutely. And, and, and that's what I want to end with. What is your message uh, to the Indian entrepreneur who's starting today, to the Indian SME who's trying to move up today, uh, to the uh, Indian entrepreneur who is trying to build scale and look outside as well? What is your message in light of the experiences that you've had, the mistakes that you've made and the course correction perhaps that you've done? I would like to limit it to three points. One is self-belief. I think without self-belief, nothing can be achieved. The second is never say die. You cannot, even in the worst dark night, which seems endless, you have to keep faith and you have to persevere. And the last is believe in your people. It's people who build it. Today, if the award is given, it is given to the thousands of people who have spent a lifetime in our company. It's not given to me. And therefore, believe in your people, nurture your people, carry your people with you. I would limit it to just three points. Well, thank you very, very much, Mr. Benu Srinivasa. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for the lifetime achievement of the year. Thank you very much. Appreciate you joining us here this evening for honoring the India Business Leader Awards.